Hello, this is Akiko Sudano in Downingtown, Pennsylvania. With uh, 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 I'm going to make a card today with this pretty little Hello Ladybug uh, bundle, and this has got uh, this is a photopolymer stamp set with uh, with a punch. It comes bundled with a punch, and. I am, uh, and, and it's in the new catalog, so I'm uh, excited to show you this card today, and um, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I, I'll i tell you what, I am having such a, a problem with following along in my comments with this uh, Facebook, um, this new interface. My comments are just not appearing very well, so I uh, apologize. I'm not going to be able to uh, uh, respond to them very, very well, but I'm going to go ahead and um, show you the card. Hi, Amy. Thank you so much for watching. Um, so I, I have, and I am using um, I'm going to make a fun fold card today just to step it up a little bit. But I also, I'm using this um, beautiful Flowering Fields um, Designer Series paper. And this is also from the new catalog. And this is the one that's got all of the tulips on it. And I picked one of the uh, one of the patterns that has all of the different colored tulips in it. And um, I'm going to go ahead, and I think I'm going to go ahead and adhere this, not with stamp and seal. I'm going to adhere this with liquid glue. And I'm adhering this to a um, four and a quarter by five um, piece of so saffron cardstock. Hello, Karen. Thank you so much for watching. So saffron cardstock. And um, I'm going to just do this. Let's see here. Try to center this on the cardstock. There we go. And um, we have snow today, so it's really pretty. We went out a little bit earlier. The roads are not too bad. I don't think it's going to be too, too bad. But it's just, just enough to make you feel, okay, winter's nice. And I'm not totally sick of the snow yet. Oh, sorry if I uh, shook up uh, the uh, thing there. Okay. Oh, there we go. Let's see if that helps any. Oh. My my comment section is a little bit bigger than it was last week. So okay, so I've um, adhered the um, that um, pretty pa panel over it, and then I have another little panel here, and this is three and a quarter, and this is so saffron, and I've got another panel of the uh, of that same flowering fields designer series paper, and I'm going to just adhere that to the front, and it's cut a. Um, a quarter of an inch smaller. See, it's so pretty with um, so many different colors of tulips and stuff that you can make for, uh, perfect for spring cards and stuff. Hi, Karen. Oh, you've got snow there too. Oh, ro the roads are fairly, some of the back roads by us are a little bit um, snow covered, but I think most of everything is pretty clear. But I think that it's nice. I'm happy with um Having seeing a little bit of snow. I'm, I'm just checking this before I really press this down to see if my um, two panels are kind of uh, lined up. There we go. And I think that looks good. So I'm going to, um, and this is, um, I think this is three and a quarter inch wide by um, eight and a half long. And so it's going to be one of these fun folds where just the center part flaps up like this. So, um, then I'm going to take this and I'm going to go ahead and adhere it right now with uh, to the card front with tear and tape. And um, here we go. So I've got the one side with the uh, designer series paper and this side I'm going to put uh, tear and tape. I'm going to put a couple strips on it, I think. Might as well. Hi, Chi. Thank you so much for joining me today. Good. Yep. Yeah. yeah, last week my uh my uh on my computer that I watch my comments on, the um section for the um comments was just so skinny and I was only getting one comment at a time. And today it's like I've got I see a couple of comments, so I feel like I'm a little bit handle able to handle it a little bit better. But I'm pull off the uh cover of the tear and tape. Throw these off to the side here. 
and then I'm going to, I guess, do the hard part of just kind of centering this on uh, my uh, paper here, I, right here. Okay, nope, that's not the center. Let's see here. Eight, there we go. So that's going to be centered, and this will be right in the middle. Try to make put this in the middle and um, make it kind of even on both sides. And I think this is doing it for me. There. So I just kind of center it. There we go. All right, so that's uh, pretty much prepped my card base, and I'll be able to put my inside panel on the inside there. Okay, so now let's go ahead and get started with um, some... Uh, some stamping. The first thing I'm going to do is take this um, this flower stamp, and I'm going to uh, stamp three of these on the. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, for some reason, Karen, I I understand, and today I'm finding it's it's so much harder since I uh, started doing Facebook Lives again. It it, it seems um, so much more difficult. I have a, a, a hats off to all the ladies that can can do that and do that very very well and i'm using highland heather because i'm going to make and i've got a little bit of highland heather a couple uh of the tulips in highland heather so i'm going to stamp the um these flowers in highland heather and i'm um, going to stamp them across here on this uh this panel and i've got all of the um all of the measurements for the cardstock cuts. I'll post that in my blog tomorrow. And I, I don't know, this, I've got some, some gucky stuff, it seems like, on one of this. So I'll just turn this over a little bit and I will, oh, I'll just turn this around a little bit and punch this out. Now, this is, um, the nice thing about this is that this flower can be used with that. I think it's the medium uh, to uh, flower punch. So it's got it's like the daisies and stuff. But this um, will uh, punch it out, and it it punches it out so that the um, you still have. Uh, I'll show you once I get this one punched out. It punches it out so that the whole thing is, um, uh, the, the whole punch ends up being um, with your stamped image. And so you see it leaves some of the stamp image. Can you see some of the Highland Heather still in, in the, um, on the cardstock there? So I'm, I'm punching three of these and I will um, make a, a flower for the ladybug to, um, to be by. And I just want to try to get this thing centered. Some I, I, I've been doing these, and I find sometimes I'm very, very good at keeping this little centerpiece um, centered. And there's another stamp that you can use to color the center a different color if you want. See, it's uh, this one right here. So you can stamp that also in um, on the... Uh, on the uh, on the inside of the flower, if you want to make it two different colors, but um, and then also you can um, make these flowers without um, without without uh, punching them out. You can just stamp them on your uh, cardstock. And I uh, since I punched these out, I'm going to give uh, my uh, daisies a little bit of uh, of uh, movement, and I'm going to just gently um, curl the uh the petals and the way i do this is i have the bottom uh uh petal i uh bend those out and um the top one i bend down and then i do do it in a al alternate them for the middle layer here and this makes a really really full flower and it has a lot of movement and so i think that um Everything else I've just kind of laid pretty flat so I can I can do this. Now I'll adhere these together with just a little bit of liquid glue. Put this one on the center here, and then the one that goes up and down 
kind of put this one next to it and I'm in here good put this down hello Chris thank you so much for joining there and then the last one I will put on top And that would be good. Oops. I'll press that a little bit longer. A longer press. There we go. Hello, Danette. Thank you so much for joining me. So just hold really, really good. There we go. Okay. Now, it's not popping up. Okay, but you can see it's got a little bit of movement, which is good. Which is good, good, good. All right, so flower's ready, and we'll put him on, put that flower on the uh, petal. Now, I have, um, my stamp pads are uh, a little bit dry right now, and so I've decided the, um, I want to make a leaf, and um, the, uh, the and, and the leaf, and I'm going to stamp the, the ladybug wings in Poppy Parade, and the leaf in, um, Pear pizzazz. Okay, but these are um, very, uh, they're, uh, they're flat, and they and, and I, I want uh, to get a good stamp on them. And with my uh, ink pads being a little bit dry, I decided I would pull out the Stamparatus, and I would, um, I've got uh, my papers lined up here, and I give them so that I can stamp them a couple of times so that I can make sure that I get good stamped images. So I'll start with the um, leaf image, and actually this ended up being pretty good, but I think I'm going to go ahead and do this one more time, because you can see, I don't know if you can see that it's still a little bit splotchy, but the um, going twice will give me an opportunity to get this really good. There we go. I think we had a little bit of shifting there, but um, that, I think that's, that's, that's the technique. I, that I, I that's the technique that I would recommend um, following and so what I what I've done is I've cut fussy cut this out for um, and I've, I've already got one that I've cut out so I'm going to put this one aside but let's go ahead and use that same technique for the wings and I'm going to go ahead and put this magnet up here and stamp the wings in poppy parade and I need two of them so close the um, pear pizzazz ink pad and ink up the poppy parade. And stamp that on and hopefully we can pull this off without moving the paper. There we go. And there's, um, right here, there's some uh, light spots, and right here, there's some light spots. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do this again. Kind of get make sure I get that corner nice and dark. There, and that's pretty good. So I'm going to flip this over. And I'm going to stamp the other side so that I have a pair of ladybug wings. With a nice... Uh, nice deep color it was solid uh, um, with the with the bold graphics like this it um, 
you want to try to get. Sometimes I think you can do something artistic when you don't get kind of a, 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 a good solid stamp, but I think that um, for my card today, I want a nice solid stamp, uh, Im stamped images. And so um, that's, that's um, my wings. And that helps me, especially when um, the Stamparatus is perfect for when um, this time of year when um, things are starting to get a little bit dry. Okay, so now let's go ahead and start making the little ladybugs. And um, that's that's why I have the um, ladybug punch here. And um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, um, for the body, I'm I stamped the, wi uh, the, uh, the wings and stamped those in Poppy Parade. And, um, and there's also a, um, a uh, spots that you can stamp in uh, black. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the, um, the uh, matte dots for my spots. So I'm going to go ahead and leave my spots um, white, and I think that'll be fine. But let's go ahead and, oh, I think I did this wrong. Yeah, I did this upside down. So let's see here, because they're not going to go that way. So let's uh, let's trim this off, and let's see if we can get. Mm, we're not quite there, so I'm going to just get a piece of. I should have been more careful of uh, placing that one. Just stick a piece of uh, post-it note to this and then use the uh, use the uh, the punch to, to punch this out. Now I want uh, to try to get this so that I have as even a border around it as I can and sometimes the um, shadows make it a little bit difficult but um, I think so I just want to kind of position it and then punch it, and that's that's pretty good, and that's okay. So let's get the other one, and I might need to cut some of the bottom of that off too. Let's see if uh, if we're too high up. Yeah, we're too high up, so I'm gonna have to trim this off. But just by sticking it on the side here, I can um, I can. The, the, this I can easily uh, punch this out. So you've got you just want to make sure that your things are facing in the right direction, um, and if they're not, then you can fix that easily. That looks pretty good. So um, yeah, that was pretty good. So I've got my two sets of wings here, but you can see you've got one side with the wings and one side for the ladybug. So that ends up uh, being it, it ends up being pretty easy to use um, this um, this little punch. Now for the the ladybug body, I am going to use the um, this uh, black and white um, designer series paper. And this is from the Pattern Party designer series paper. Oh, Kathy, hi, thank you for joining me. And I, I just, um, I'm gonna just, and it, it gives uh, the ladybug a little bit of something, um, something different and not just uh, a black, um, black body. So I'm gonna, Pull that out and get two of them because I want two ladybugs here. And let's see here. Clean that up and then go in right here. Just make sure you've got you got everything punched out. And there we go. Okay. So that's done. And then I'm also going to, um, since uh, the designer series paper is just a little bit, um, it's a little thinner than the uh, than cardstock. So I'm gonna go ahead and back this with cardstock so I can put the, um, oops, that guy fell on the floor, so that I can pop these on my uh, card base with dimensionals so that they have uh, a little bit more body to them. So there we go, okay. So I've got two of these punched out. Now, let's see here. Put this punch away 
and get my other ladybug. There we go. So I've got these two here. Now, one of the things before I go ahead and I do this is that when you're using, um, especially with black, um, with with black, I want to use my black Stampin' Write marker because a lot of the uh, a lot of times the the um, the the top will have the the color, but the core of the paper will be white. And then I just want to use my Stampin' Write marker to go around the edges just to darken that. And um, then it, it just makes my um, my uh, die cuts. I do, with die cuts as well. I've um, I'll do this, or if I fussy cut something um, where I've got um, the uh, black um, the 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 stamped image that where I'm cutting it on the stamped image. Just want to give it a uh, uh, a more intense color and. Um, it doesn't make it quite so faded. So I'll do that. And and, and I don't know if you can see the difference where um, where it um, on here, but it um, it will show up. And that's just uh, something that I learned and I do. And you, you, um, the the um, stamp and write markers are nice because you've got um, a long um, a brush tip that you can kind of a brush tip that you can use to uh, to uh, just lay it sideways and you don't end up going too far off. Sometimes the um, the uh, bullet markers um, or or pens, it, 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 you you don't get as good. Uh, 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 you have to be more careful with that. So, I don't do. I I um I like the stamp and the black stamp and write markers for that. Now, then I want to take these guys and um adhere these together. So I'll do this with just a little bit of liquid glue. Okay, come on. It's easy to to move them. Just um, okay. There, there we go. And thank goodness for liquid glue that allows you to move it around so that you can get things lined up pretty well and then um, flatten down. And then we'll do the other one. And. There we go. I think the first time I did this, I think there was like a, they weren't quite 100% symmetrical. So I wanted to just double check it to make sure we were, we were good. So the, the, the white dots gives uh, the ladybug body just a little bit of something different. So we'll do that, and then we'll just take these guys and um, use uh, more liquid glue to adhere the wings. Just stick them underneath the aren't they so cute and then I just like the little the the uh, the uh, little uh, and there's a, another piece of my post-it note pull that off I just like the 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 slight uh, texture that you get from the uh, the uh, The designer series paper with the small polka dots that are on top of that. So there we go. There's our second ladybug. Okay. Now and then we will use, like I said, we I have the um, the matte black dots that are these little dots. It's like there's two small dots 
two small spots and two large spots. So put the black ones on the little black matte dots on the little spots. Line it up and press it. And the same thing here. Come on. And then the large ones on the large dots. And then this one, this one needs to be moved over just a little bit just to cover the, the thing. And then the large one. See, still wanting to slide over. Oops, this one really slid over. Moved a lot. And he's still wanting to come over there. Stay there. And I think that it, it is fine if it doesn't quite cover the, the white. They do a pretty good job. There we go. And then The nice thing about this um, this ladybug punch is that you can um, do the um, do it out of cardstock. You can stamp you can stamp your images and do it um, uh, do your uh, punching on out of the stamped images, or you can um, punch it out of designer series paper. And it's just so and they I think they're so cute. They're such cute ladybugs. They're perfect um you've got that bold graphic look which i think is just is just great and they're just cute so um and they're so easy to do and having you know being able to use the the uh black dots to give them extra dimension is just so is so nice and of course, you could skip that if you want to put it on the inside or you want to do something else, which is um, nice. But I want to put this on the front of the card. So I'm going to, well, that's the one that his sticky wanted to stay there. Oops, that one's not, there we go. That one's not going to cooperate. There we go. Okay. See, aren't they cute? There we go. So we have our butterflies, uh, not our butterflies, our ladybugs. And um, we have our card base and we have our little purple flower and purple picks up the purple. And then we have our leaves. Now what I did was I fussy cut this, this leaf and I um, already have one that I fussy cut previously. And when I cut this one, I, I, I cut it with just a little bit of uh, a white border on it. Um, and I went ahead and I did this ahead of time so that you wouldn't have to sit and watch me fussy cut everything here. Um, but I'm going to put this on kind of like kind of like this so that it's got just a little bit of a white border kind of echoing the white border in the um, in the uh, ladybug wings. And I'm going to adhere this guy on with some liquid glue. And I'm just going to put this um, leaf in the middle. Make sure that I'm in the camera. Put this in the middle of the card, like that. I'm gonna put the um, little flower on with uh, with my with a dimensional, and I'm gonna use my trusty half dimensionals here. Although this flower, I think, could have uh, been adhered with a full dimensional right on the back here, in the center. And pull out, pull off the, leave that one right here. Yeah, leave that right here. 
and then I think the ladybugs will the nice the nice thing that I um like about this particular kind of fun fold is that the, is that the ladybugs can be off of the uh, they can, it's fun if 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 your embellishments and your your the things you decorate the fun with kind of go off the um the main part of the card so that's what I want to do here and I will adhere these guys with dimensionals more more of my little half dimensionals and then th the big big thing that you want to do is you want to make sure that you have um the, um everything adhered with dimensional so i'm going to keep the um you ha you want to make sure that the dimensional stay on this part of your card so i'm going to do this um and that they're not sticking out over the edge of that panel come on stay there And use my little, and I have that right there, use my tweezer to help place this guy up here. There we go. And see, so when you open this up, you can see some of the, um, the um, ladybug on the edge there. And we'll do the same with this guy. But it's just so, they're so easy to um, make something that's fun. And that's why I just really love these little ladybugs. And they're so bold. I'm really making kind of a mess all over the place here. There we go. And so this, this ladybug is sticking out here and that one's sticking out there. So that's nice and fun. And then I, um, I use the little hello um, sentiment and I just basically stamped this in Poppy Parade and I just went ahead and I cut this out. So that, and I think I'll put it so that it's, oh, it doesn't matter um, whether I put it on the um, leaf, but I'm gonna put it up in that area. I could also put it down here, but I'll put it up in that area. And um, I'm gonna just use liquid glue with that. Um, could use a glue dot too. Hello, Debbie. Thank you so much for joining me. And, um, thank you so much, Karen. I love these ladybugs. Oops. I should have been more careful, I guess. So I'll try to clot that glue off there. Just a little hello and just check and see if he's straight because the um got that um the flowers in the background that have kind of a straight um kind of look so uh, actually one more thing before i finish off the card front i'm going to um take one of these uh th these are the iridescent dots and i'm going to stick that in the center of the flower there and this is um one of the iridescent dots so you've got a two little ladybugs and they're saying hello to each other and then I've got a little uh, basic white panel to put on the inside. And what I want to do, so this is going to say hello. And one of the um, one of the punny sentiments with this um, stamp set is that is the one that says, um, "You can bug me anytime." And so I'm going to stamp that on the inside of uh, the card panel just above and I have another little piece of designer series paper that I will put there I think we'll see hopefully this will be good and I'm going to just um, one about this about a half of an inch so I'll do this at the bottom of the panel here Cover my and adhere my strip of design series paper. So this one I, I picked um, one of the um, hopefully yeah hopefully it it will carry the um, design of the design series paper from the bottom of the card there across so that it's got the purple flowers with the yellow flowers on top. 
Hopefully I'm still on the camera here. Just barely, sorry about that. There we go, and then, oops, this is slipped up. There we go, and I'll trim the little bit of extra here off, and then I'll adhere this to the inside of my card, and I'm just gonna use more stamp and seal. No, I'm gonna use um, liquid glue to adhere this to the inside of my card. And there we go. There. Hello, you can bug me anytime. There we go. And that's my card tip for today. I hope you like it. I hope you think, I hope you consider getting this little ladybug stamp set um, bundle. Um, not little ladybug, hello ladybug. And um, because it's fun and it's beautiful. Um, thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Have a great week. Bye-bye.